Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today I wanted to show you this Quimbia gum mifra, um, commonly known as red bloodwood. It's in this bloodwood group within the genus um, Quimbia, which is you know one genus, one of the three genera within this collective term eucalypts. Um, this is closely related to two other red bloodwoods. Um, um, the the one well. This one is on the east coast of Australia. The other two were, are on the southwest corner, I believe. And one of them is a very famous um, eucalyptus spacifolia. The, the one that you see planted a lot. Um, and the flowers have very copious amount of red flowers. And the other one is eucalyptus calophylla, I believe. Um, commonly known as Mary. But yeah. Well, back to the gumnifera or this red bloodwood. It's in this bloodwood section or series um, because it has a typical bloodwood par um, bark that just break into sort of tessellated short squares or ribbons. Um, sorry, not ribbons, short squares. And they don't always peel, like shed. Um, I don't think they shed at all, actually. Um, yeah. And one of the one of the um, characteristic of Crimbia is this um, terminal inflorescence. As you can see here, this is terminal. Oops, sorry. This is terminal that the end of this branch, and we have this inflorescence that keeps branching within itself, and that's a terminal compound um, inflorescence. And also, you see this one is actually at the branch of uh, axis of a leaf, but also has branches. So it's compound terminal as well as compound at the leaf axis. I just finished flowering. It has this cream white flowers. And because their, their, their flowers are terminal compound when they're in bloom, um, the outside of this canopy, especially I think more obvious in Calophylla, are just covered with this white flower or red flower in the sense of Pisifolia. Um, it's very ornamental. And uh, let me see if I can show you guys on this. Great, I finally found a good example. Thank you. Um, <laughs> well, this is what I want to show you in their leaves. You see the veins are much, much denser than some of the other eucalypts. Um, if you are close to one, please hold it against the light. That, let's make it more visible. Um, and they, all the side veins are almost parallel to each other and are branching off this midrib at a very wide angle and so this is pinnate um, where this feather like veins are really um, char characteristic of Crimbia and the other feature of this one is the upper side of the leaf the um, adaxial side and the bottom side the back side of the leaf are different colors some of you clips also have it and some Crimpia also are concolorous on both sides, but in general, I think a lot of the bloodwoods are discolorous, meaning there are different colors on different sides. Um, yeah, so there you have it. Um, I oh sorry, I wish I had a fruit um, that's mature so I can show you, but I don't really see any mature ones. Um, Oh well, so this is Eucalyptus gum mifra, um, red bloodwood. See you next time.